you guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is actually going to be how I potty trained my two year old in three days. And I've done this before, Brantley's four, and I did this the same way that I did it for Deegan. And I have been getting a lot of questions about this method, how I did it, tips, tricks, all that good stuff. So I figured I'd do a video for you guys to kind of give you um, you know what worked for me and maybe you'll find tips that'll work for you and help you out with potty training and yeah Deacon is 25 months so he's two years one month and he is now fully potty trained and it did take three days to get the concept and then about a week to really be you know good like out and everything so um, if you are interested in this video, definitely keep on watching. All right, you guys, so I hope that I remember to cover everything I want to cover because I didn't really write too much down, and I wrote a couple things down, but I'm going to kind of just wing it, tell you guys what I did, and all that good stuff. So, Okay, so the first thing is you are going to want to make sure that your toddler is ready and by ready i mean showing some interest in the potty maybe they watch you go or maybe you know they want to sit on the potty so about i want to say a couple weeks before i even did this method i would let deacon um like i would take his diaper off right after dinner and i knew we were going up to get to, like to get baths in an hour so i would give him that hour to kind of like see you know i would tell him let me know if you have to go potty see how he did and he actually did pretty good he had a couple accents but he did pretty good i only did it a few times and i just wanted to see and then the one day he freaked out about putting a diaper on and i was like you know what let's do this let's just do it why not you know like i'm ready to do this i wanted to potty train him before um this baby comes baby gunner and because i did not want two in diapers so i went ahead and decided i was going to do the three-day potty training method which i will leave a link below to the book and i read that for brantley i still have it i did like an ebook so i have it online that method is amazing it works great now i kind of like did a little bit of my own thing with it so that's why i'm going to give you some of like what I did and tell you guys more about how I did it. Sorry guys, if I'm breathing a lot, somebody mentioned in my one of my other videos that, like why are you so out of breath? I'm pregnant and when I sit down like this on the floor, my stomach like pushes up and I can't breathe that good. So, sorry. In advance, if I'm breathing like crazy because I know I sound ridiculous sometimes. So, first thing you are gonna do is obviously make sure that the toddler is ready. Not every toddler is going to be ready at two. Sometimes they're not ready until they're three and that's just the way it is. But um, this method, she says that you can start potty training before they're even two and um, even when they can't talk and that's what she says in the book. And um, I can imagine that that would work but I think it was really hard when Deacon wasn't communicating with me so I think I would wait personally till two and then um, go ahead and start doing it. But anyway, so first of all, what you're going to do is you're going to take three days. You have to take three days and you have to set them aside, decide on which days you're going to do, set them aside, make no plans. You're not going to go anywhere. You're not going to do anything. You are physically, emotionally, everything is going to go into that child for three days. Like you are not going to leave their side. You are not going to... You can't go anywhere if you have another child um you know that needs a lot of attention then you might want to have some help with them so that you can really focus on your other child yeah because you you need to be able to catch them in the act of like peeing themselves you really 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 have to pay full attention um to that child I'm telling you guys like people are like oh I'll take the three days and they don't really pay attention and then it doesn't work you really really just have to set aside those three days just plan on having those three days i'm telling you it is worth it worth it 100 percent. so the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take up all the carpets in the bathrooms and if you have hardwood floors that would be even better but um we have a lot of carpet so that kind of stunk but you know it is what it is i did take all the carpet uh rugs and all that out of the bathrooms because they will get peed on um and then also what you're going to need is about probably like 15 pairs of underwear um 
maybe 20 pairs of underwear, I would say, because they're going to have a lot of accidents probably the first day, most mostly. Like some people, some kids might not, but um, Brantley had a ton of accidents the first day. So you can only had about, I don't know, maybe, maybe four the first day. Definitely make sure you have those undies. And what I would recommend too is taking your child to the store, um, you know, a few days before you're ready to do this and talk to them about how, you know, big boys or girls wear undies and, you know, we're going to give the diapers to, I told Deacon, we're going to give baby gunner your diapers and Deacon is going to wear big boy undies like, like Brantley, you know, Deacon is a big boy now. So we're not going to, we're not going to use diapers anymore. Deacon doesn't need diapers anymore. So, and he was great with that. He was really good with that. So, and he was really excited too, like to be a big boy and get undies. And so I had like a ton of undies left over um, from Brantley that I don't even think he wore like half of them, but I wanted to make sure that I got Deacon his own undies because then he could pick them out and he could be a part of the process. So we picked out superhero undies for Deacon and he was really excited about that. I went on Google, I just Googled a potty chart map chart party chart we got stickers and each time he would go potty he would get a sticker and then when he made it to the end of the page which was three days um he like each day it was like each day and then a whole row so at the end of three days he would get to go to the store and pick out a prize so now with Brantley I did a lot of potty treats too so like every time he would go I'd give him like an M&M or two M&Ms if he you know went poop and pee and then with Deacon I gave him I started giving him potty treats but then he wasn't really like that didn't really phase him too much so I just kind of let it go and we just did the sticker thing and he was cool with that too but you can also do like Hershey kisses you know whatever you want but I think like rewarding them is is important and the next thing you want to do is we have a potty on the floor and Deacon uses that, but then I also have a potty upstairs and it's just like the potty seat, like we have a regular potty seat and then there's a smaller seat that comes down. I'll, I'll insert a clip so you guys can see what it looks like, but I got it off Amazon and it works so good and it kind of makes them feel like they're on the regular potty, but it's smaller for them. So we kind of did both. I didn't really want him to be set on going in the same potty, like a little potty because... We were obviously going to go out, go to other people's houses later, and I just didn't want him to be stuck on going in a little potty. So we did that. Now with Brantley, I had the potty seats that you put on the potty, and those were fine, but I felt like they moved a lot and they were just annoying to take on and off, so I skipped that this time with Deacon. The thing is, you really want to make sure that you, the potty stays in the bathroom. So some people will say, I put the potty out in the living room. No. That's not where we go potty. That's not where you go potty. You have to keep it in the bathroom because they're gonna get used to it being out there and they have to understand that you go potty in the bathroom. That's where you go potty. That's where you're gonna go potty. So why would you put them, put the potty in the living room when it's not gonna be there, you know? So I disagree with that. I think you should just leave it in the bathroom and, you know, do it that way. Also, I just wanted to say that during these three days, it is really important to be patient because they have never done this before. It's going to be very stressful. It was very stressful for me because I felt like, well, Deacon was a little bit easier, but really just, it was like he would go potty in his undies and he just didn't understand. And you know, it can be very frustrating, but then by day three, it really, it really, I'm telling you, it's amazing how it just happens. Like I was like, oh my God, he's never gonna get this. And then something clicks and he just does. But with this method, you are not gonna use any diapers. So I'm talking no diapers at nap time, no diapers at bedtime, no pull-ups, like straight undies. You're gonna want a shirt on them, undies, and no pants because you wanna be able to see if they are going, you know, in their undies and you're not really gonna be able to see if they have pants on. Um, but I do wanna say, I followed that rule with Brantley with Deacon. I kind of let him put pants on sometimes because he actually wanted to wear his pants. And I just paid close attention and the second I saw, I would put like light gray sweatpants on him so I could see. Um, but I didn't do jeans, I didn't do any black pants. I tried to do like the light color gray pants just so that 
um, if he did want the pants on, I could see if he was starting to go. So, um, yeah, and we would just, we would just wait. And if, as soon as he would go, start to go in his undies, I would just pick him up and say, oh, you're going pee pee. Let's go in the potty. We don't want to go in your undies. You know, um, we don't want to get Nemo wet or we don't want to get super Superman wet or we don't want to get Mater wet. You know, um, Mater doesn't want to get wet. Mater doesn't want to go. You can't go pee pee on Mater. He'll be upset. He'll cry. Um, you know, and tell him things like that. And then he's like, oh, Mater, Mater cries. Like, yeah, Mater will cry. He doesn't want you to pee pee on him. So that's what we did. And also you are going to want to give them a lot to drink, like a lot, get them juice, whatever they want to drink because for these three days, because you want them to have the opportunity to go. And if they're not drinking, they're not going to go potty. And you want to give them as many chances um, to learn as possible. So definitely, definitely give them a lot to drink. I just gave him mostly water. He was okay with that. But like if your child's like not thirsty or something, give them juice or whatever just to get them to drink, you know, so that they have the opportunity to go. So the next thing is you also want to um, tell them, like you don't want to say, let me know. Oh, no, that's what you're supposed to say. You don't want to say, do you have to go potty? Do you have to go potty? Why don't we try? You don't want to say that. I would say, Deacon, let mama know when you have to go potty. Let mama know when you have to go potty, Deacon. And I would literally say it probably like every 10 minutes, literally. And the thing is, you don't want to like force them on the potty. So um, like you don't want to say, let's go try and then try to put them on there because then they'll cry or they're not happy about it and it wasn't their decision. And um, they might like not want to do it. So I wouldn't do that. I would just say, you know, Deacon, let mama know when you have to go potty. Let mama know, know when you have to go potty. Hey Deacon, are your, are your mater undies dry? Are they dry? Is mater dry? And he'll be like dry. And I'm like, yeah, awesome. And then, um, you know, so, and then when he would go, when he would go in the potty, I made like a huge deal about it. You know, we got so excited and, oh, you're a big boy now. You're a big boy. Look at you. Awesome. Great job, Deke, you know. And um, he was just so excited about that, too. And we'd high five and make such a big deal. And then um, also the one time he, like, when, I don't know about your kids, but when going number two, he would kind of go in a corner and he would, like, hide when he was going to go poop and so when the first day when he tried to when he had to go poop he like went to the corner and I was like do you have to go poopy and he's like no and I was like okay and then I was like well let mama know if you have to go potty because we're going the big boy potty because Deacon's a big boy now and we don't want to get you know Mater we don't want to we don't want to poo poo a Mater you know Mater will be sad so um he did start to go then in his undies and I just quick like ran him to the bathroom and um and he did great then. He went on there, but he still, it was like a disaster. I'm telling you, it was like a mess. But, and that happened twice. He had like two really bad accidents um, with poop, but it wasn't too bad. And then every time, like I said, when he started to pee, just take him right to the bathroom. And he did really, he did really, really good with that. He was really good. He just wasn't good at telling me. Like I would say, tell me when you have to go potty. And he didn't the first day. He didn't the first day. The second day, he kind of did. And the third day, he said, I go pee pee, but he had already started a little bit. So he was catching on like, oh, I go pee pee. Um, so he was starting to get it, like feeling it and getting it and all that. And that's why I think it's important not to put any diapers on them or pull ups because you don't want them to think like that they can go in their pull ups or their diapers. Like undies, you can feel everything and they don't want to feel that. So at bedtime, at nap time, the first day, Deacon peed the bed, but you know, it's, that's going to happen. And what I learned from Brantley to Deacon is that what I would do is I would take piddle pads, like doggy piddle pads. Um, I would lay them on his sheet. So we would have the mattress protector, his whole sheet set, like normal bedding. And then I put down piddle pads and then I put down a really, really thick fleece blanket and then just like a random sheet we had laying around for him to throw over him. But it was so much easier because then if he peed the bed, I could literally just rip up the fleece blanket and the pedal pads and the bed was still clean. 
and the only thing I needed to wash was that fleece blanket. So I had three fleece blankets and I just like swapped them out and every time he peed, I just, you know, and I always made sure that he peed before, right before he went down for nap and right before he went down for bed. And then actually at bedtime, when I was going to bed, I'd actually wake him up, kind of wake him up. I'd pick him up out of bed and then I'd take him to the potty and have him go, you know, after a couple hours of him being asleep, just so that he could empty his bladder like one more time while I was still awake. And the first night he peed the bed, the second night he peed the bed, the third night he did not, and he hasn't since. So I would say that that definitely helps. But I also want to mention for nap or for bedtime, you have to make sure that your child does not drink anything two hours before bed. So your child cannot drink anything two hours before bed and that's really hard for my for deacon because we always have water right before bed so that might be hard but if they have something to drink two hours before bed chances are they're going to pee the bed so you do not want that the thing is you want them to pee twice before going to bed so nothing to drink two hours before have them we get our you know we do our bedtime routine um, i have them pee once we're still kind of hanging out and then I have him go a second time and after the second time even if he doesn't go the second time I'll just wait and we'll read another book and we'll wait and then once he goes twice before bed if he pees twice then we lay down and he goes to bed I wait until he pees twice and then like I said a couple hours later when I'm ready to go to bed I have him pee again and I wake him up kind of wake him up and have him go to bed he's like half asleep but um he goes every time he still goes every time and now it's been about 11 12 days 12 days i think 12 days now he's had no accidents we've been out he's been great um he we were at costco the one day and he kind of like started to go and he's like i go pee pee i go pee pee and he held it and he was great and he knows how to hold it now and um so that's really good too. So I did want to mention when you are going out and you are going to go in the car and, you know, venture out after the three days, definitely get one of these, like a pedal pad seat thing for your seat, for your car seat, because, um, you know, just in case they have an accident. And I also have used just a towel too. Um, before I got this, I just used a towel in the seat just in case you would pee. I didn't want it all in my car seat. But um, this is like $7, so, I mean, and it's like this on the opposite side. So I think this is worth investing in because it's cheap and, um, you know, towels are not like considered a safe product. So, and this is like tested and safe and um, I would recommend that too. And I'll leave a link below for it so you guys can go ahead and check it out. Also, when you do venture out, you want to make sure that you have a change of clothes um, in your car in your diaper bag and yeah you just want to make sure you have a change of clothes um because they might have an accident and he did not but you never know he still could and i bring change of clothes with me all the time still i will probably do it for a while now just to make sure because he could have an accident you know um he's still learning and he's doing a great job but that's not to say he's not going to have an accident you know he still might have an accident so i just want to be prepared i don't want to be out and he pees all over his clothes and then you know i'm sol because i forgot to pack clothes the thing is like we went to the park the other day and i just brought the potty with me because i didn't want him using like a porter potty and he's still kind of little so he doesn't like stand up and pee which that's what brantley does he'll just pee in the woods or something but um, Deacon isn't there yet, like he's just learning. So um, he definitely would need a potty if we were out. Um, if we we're at other people's houses and things like that, then um, he would be fine on a regular potty. I usually um, take his pants off and shoes off and everything if we're out like that and he can just go on and he'll be fine, he can do it. Um, and then the other thing is I have these potty seat covers that I wanted to talk to you about. So since some bathrooms are like disgusting. Well, first of all, I talked about this um, bag and how I have it packed up and everything in my what's in my diaper bag video. So I'll link that right here so you guys can check that out. This is a Skip Hop wet bag. This is what I bring for Deacon's, um, all his potty stuff. I just have these potty seat covers. And like if we're in a bathroom that is like absolutely disgusting and, um, you know he has to go potty 
I got these potty seat covers and these are great because they really cover like over the pot the whole potty so if he puts his hands down on the side of him he's not going to touch any of the seat so that is a great thing that I like to have the other thing I think is important and this is like not only on the go but at home are toddler flushable wipes because when you do have to clean up a mess you guys you're just gonna want these okay so um these are just from target they're the up and up brand and it's just the flushable toddler wipes and we love these i bring these out they're in every single bathroom we use them all the time i even use them to clean the toilet sometimes but um yeah these are great so definitely definitely i would consider getting these i also have some disposable like munchkin trash bags in here and then like I said, this is a wet bag, so it has a change of clothes in here for him. And then if he does have a soiled outfit, I can just throw it in here and I'm not worried about it getting anything dirty in my bag. And then in my car bag, I have a set of clothes, a set of jammies, um, and another wet bag. So I'm all prepared. I hope I covered everything. I hope I didn't bounce around too much and you guys were able to understand, you know, how I did it and everything. So basically the second day kind of went like the first it wasn't really that much better it was just hard and stressful so don't give up don't give up when they're peeing themselves and peeing all over it can be very frustrating you're cleaning up after them you're peeing you're like are they ready i don't know if they're ready but by day three he started doing really well and he still had an accident on day three but it was like by four by day four he was good and um, I want to say within the first week he probably had maybe one or two accidents um, still but now like I said we are probably I think we're on day 12 now 12 or 13 now and he hasn't had any so in like the past four days so he has done really really well I highly recommend this method I really think it works I think it can work for for any child that is ready to potty train if your child is interested in the potty and you think they might be you know ready to potty train set aside those couple of days and do it because it's amazing not having um to put diapers on and change poopy diapers and all that good stuff so her yucky stuff this is what i did this is what worked for us this worked for brantley it worked for deegan i actually had some friends i recommended it to and it worked for them as well so I would highly, highly recommend checking out the three-day potty training method. I wanted to tell you guys too, is um, when Deacon goes potty on the big potty, even though it's a little potty, I face him backwards. So he faces the back of the toilet just because then all he's going to do is stand up. So that's more like a boy thing, but um, you know, I have boys, so I can kind of give you some boy tips but um yeah so he faces backwards and sometimes he still faces forwards but i try to face him backwards so that he understands that when he gets bigger and can stand up he will stand up and go potty so um, and be facing the toilet you know that way so that's definitely something that you might want to consider too and it might help your child going that way too and actually brantley did really really well with that he did that pretty much all the time he could just jump on the potty himself and um and he just went went that way like backwards i did want to say too is that deacon can't take his undies off and pants off himself um when deacon was when brantley was doing this he could he could take his undies and pants off and put them on deacon isn't quite there yet so i just wanted to tell you guys that so you understand too that even if they can't undress themselves or put their own stuff on you know clothes on undies on they can still do this but um you know they'll just need your help that's all I think that's it for this video if you have any questions please leave them below i'd be happy to answer them for you i am not like an expert i'm just like going off of my experience like i said every every child is different so what worked for mine and some others might not work for you but if, in my opinion it's worth it it's worth a shot for three days because you know after those three days you don't have a toddler in diapers and i just think that that's like the quickest most efficient way to do it is just cold turkey go straight to undies just do it get it done rather than drag it out like some days you put undies on some days you put a diaper on sometimes they go on the potty sometimes they don't sometimes like 
I just wouldn't do that because then they're gonna get confused. I would totally, totally recommend this method. Do it for three days, get it done with, and yeah, you'll be happy that you did when it's all over. So, all right, you guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And also, remember, leave a comment below if you have any questions or any tips or anything like that that you might want to share with everybody. So, all right, you guys, we'll see you in our next video. Bye, guys.